What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy SB the Gamer and yeah, today we're going to talk about this week's time trail. Now this week's time trail, you have to reach the finish line in 2 minutes and 35 seconds or less. And I've managed to do that. I've actually reached the finish line in 2 minutes and 31 seconds. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Now before we get into this video, please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and push that notification bell. Okay, now my first time doing the time trail, I had set the waypoint to the finish line, which is approximately right here. And Rockstar gave me this weird route. And you don't want to take this route. I tried it plenty of times and it just didn't work out. But luckily I found a better route. Pretty much you're going to take the freeway all the way to the finish line. I chose this route because I found it to be much more easier because it's easier to drive on a freeway. And if you know how to drive in GTA, you know how to dodge between cars. And if you do know how to drive, then you should have no problem reaching the finish line in less than 2 minutes and 35 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys where I set my waypoint. I set my waypoint here so I know for sure I'm going in the right direction. I set my waypoint approximately right here so I know I'm getting on the right freeway. And yeah, guys, you want to make sure you stay on the roads as well. You don't want to take any extra shortcuts. So upon starting the time trail, I'm going to launch off. And if you don't know how to launch, you press RT and RB at the same time. You let go and you will launch off. That way you have a fast start at the time trail. Now, guys, upon reaching the finish line, you want to make sure you don't crash into anything now if you have a little minor crash it shouldn't really affect you much you should still reach there before two minutes and 35 seconds but just try not to crash as much as possible okay now you're going to enter onto the freeway right here near the diamond casino and while you're on the freeway you're going to approach two off ramps you're going to pass up the first one which is coming up right here right there to your right you're going to pass that one up you're going to get onto this second one now you want to stay to the far right i mistakenly went to the left which i had my little accident right there but i corrected myself and i continued on to the route this is why i chose this route because it seems to be much more easier you know there's not as much traffic it's easier to drive through the traffic to dodge through cars and everything so this way, this ensures me that I will reach my destination in less than 2 minutes and 35 seconds. As you approach this tunnel right here, you want to stay to the far right. Now, the reason why I chose to go to the far right is because, as you can see, there's no cars right there and I won't hit, any, I won't hit anything. Now, once you get out the tunnel, just, you know, dodge and bob and weave through all these cars and yeah. This is where it gets, you know, a little traffic at right here. And then once you make it out of that traffic, pretty much from here, it's just the breeze. Now, as you can see, I'm already at one minute and 50 seconds. Now, I still have plenty of time to get there. I'll see you guys at the finish line. Okay, so now I've reached the finish line and I've made it in two minutes and 23 seconds, guys. All right, if you enjoyed this video and this worked out for you, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. And yeah, I will see you guys on the next video. It's your boy SB the Gamer, and I'm out. Peace.